Welcome to this video discussing the subject of Blue Open Studio communicating to the Rockwell Logic series of PLCs. Okay, just has a, a, a short agenda here. Um, first, we'll get into basically an introduction to um, this subject and you know, the driver, etc., in the Blue Open Studio. Then uh, we'll take a look at uh, my example in the Studio 5000 environment, which is the the programming software for the PLC, and then we'll take a look at the Blue Open Studio environment, and then we'll just we'll just show the two talking together. Okay. Okay. So as an introduction and some basic facts. So in in Blue Open Studio, you're going to go and you're going to select the ABCIP driver. Um, this driver supports Control Logics, Flex Logics, Compact Logics, and Micro in Micro Logics PLCs. Um, this video is specifically focusing on using symbolic tag names uh, from the PLC and communicating to the Logics platform, specifically uh, Control Logics. Uh, and these same techniques will apply to everything in the Logics family. Okay. Uh, another basic the driver is using uh, CIP over Ethernet IP, so Common Industrial Protocol over Ethernet IP, and that's what gives us this ability to get the tag names. Okay. And, and here's some facts about the, and again, this is this video is assuming um, you have basic knowledge of Blue Open Studio. So when I say main driver sheet, et cetera, you'll know what I'm referring to. Um, but the basic, so the fact is about this driver is that it can use uh, main driver sheets, okay? Oh, which um, main driver sheets, regular driver sheets, sorry. Um, which is only supported in Windows at this time, and tag integration. And all those methods can be used concurrently, but I just put a note in here about taking care because you can, you know, to make sure you've got everything in sync and you're not double asking for tags, etc. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is let's look at my Studio 5000 environment here. And you can see what I have here is I have in the controller tags, I've basically tried to duplicate all the data types that are supported. And then just, um, I have some um, arrays with different dimensions to see, to, just to illustrate how the driver will drill into those different things. And the other, the other thing that I also have is I do have some, I just have, a, I just added a few program scoped tags so you can see what that looks like. And this is all deployed and running inside the PLC. The other thing that we do, so the thing that we need to do to use tag integration then in Blue Open Studio is in our logic designer, we would do a file and we would do a save as. And when we do a save as, we save it as an L5K file. I've already done that. So if you go ahead and look, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So again, here's our controller tags. We've got an exported L5K all ready to go for Open Studio. So now let me bring in my Blue Open Studio environment. And you'll see what I've done here is I've just created um, a project and just gave it a name. I haven't done anything else. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let me go to the viewer because we're not going to use the viewer. I'm just going to kind of shut it off. We're just going to use the watch and output windows to, to illustrate what's happening here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to first show how this tag integration is working. So what, what we do for tag integration is we go to the community under project and communication. We go to the project settings and you'll see in here we've got tag integration. I'm going to add a tag integration. It's integrated. It's for the RS Logic 5000 family. We'll just leave this prefix default and we'll go ahead and add the integration. So now we're going to use driver. The other option is OPC. In this case, we're going to show driver. I'm just going to say we're going to put in the IP address of our PLC. It is in slot number zero. And then you'll see here, this is where you're being asked to um, basically import this L5K into Blue Open Studio. So we're going to browse for the file. Okay. Here's my L5K. Okay. We'll click OK. Okay, click OK. 
and it's a little bit hard to tell, but something did happen. So it basically, what it did is it created a link basically between the project and that uh, L5K tag file. So now, for example, if you go in here in the watch window, or if, for example, if we'll, we'll show in a screen. So if I add a screen, I'll just, just to get it in here, and then we'll just add a text box. When I go into the configure the text box, and now when I'm going to go browse for my tag, what you'll notice is we've got a device folder under here under devices. And you'll see here's my three dimensional integer array, everything that cannot be contained within a, in the structure of the tag name. It has a root. So this is this is the base. And then here are the other structures that demand a more of a, a breakout of the structure into individual pieces. So you can see here's that additional program scope tags with the program main program dot local and then the name you know main program dot then the name okay so in this case what we'll do is we'll just very simply we'll say we'll put tag integer we'll say okay, okay. and then all right and then what you'll notice is if you go to if you go to the comms tab and if you look at the drivers folder you'll notice there's no driver okay but what we can see at this point is if we just go ahead and save okay and we'll just say tag integer okay so now if i just go ahead and run that project you'll see that it picked up beta. So everything is working okay. So the tag integration itself is effectively adding a driver sheet that is at this point hidden for you behind the scenes. And you theoretically never have to touch it if you're just gonna use tag integration. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. Okay, so if you want to use the tag integration, but you also wanna have the, say, the finite, the finer control using, um, main driver sheets and additional driver sheets, what, what happens is, is if you go here now and you right click on the drivers folder and say add remove drivers, what you'll notice is that it actually added this, it had already selected the driver for you. It was basically waiting for you to kind of unleash it, so to speak. So now when I, I do that and I click okay, now you'll notice that I have a main driver sheet like that, okay? And then the syntax that that follows is if you go, you need to go to the uh, um, the manual for the driver. So you can see here, this is talking about configuring the driver worksheets. So you can see here, this is the format of the data that we want to have in the driver sheet. We're going to have our tag. We're going to have a station number with a slot number. And then here you can see this is how the format of those um, items need to look in the driver sheet. Okay. So that's all discussed in the driver manual. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that driver sheet. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna come in here and like show for example, how do I get at a program scope tag? So I would simply click on the main program. I would go here, now we go here, okay. And you can see, okay, go in here. I'll go at this like three dimension array and let's say I'll go, here's my Okay, and then I'll give it an index, I'll say one, for example. Click OK, and then you can see that's added to our watch window there. <clears throat> okay, so now the last thing that I wanted to show was just to kind of see what this looks like in the output window. What I'm going to do is, is you know, when I go to the output window, I want to basically, I want to see what this looks like at a protocol level. And I'm also, I'm going to put date and timestamps on there. And I want it to log to a file. Okay. I'll tell it to just use the, the standard format, which will log this every day to the uh, basically the, the project folder of the of the project, so we can look at it later. Okay. So now let's go ahead and we'll run the project. Okay. And then you can kind of see over here on the right what the driver is doing. And you can see how it's looking for all those individual tags, the three tags that I've had here. And I could put a value okay, like that. 
Now, if I go to my, which, uh, which, oh, sorry, it's a string. Oops, okay. Uh, so that's the string one, okay. Give me a second. And you can see there's my 444 has a string, okay? So, like I said, just a quick video to kind of show the basics of getting this uh, connection going. Um, hopefully, this will be the start of a series of videos where we'll discuss different aspects of this. Um, you know, we can get into how to, you know, a little bit more on how to make a manual, you know, main driver sheet, additional driver sheets, et cetera, tag integration, um, more, more items about that. So, thanks for watching. Thank you.